Hey kids, happy Tuesday. We just got back from kindergarten registration and I'm not gonna lie, it hurt a little. Um, Sophie was super cute and she got to meet a few of her teachers. I got to talk to the lunch lady um, a lot and I thought the school was super cute. So although I'm very happy that she's gonna be going to this wonderful little neighborhood school, it is kind of sad that my baby is growing up and I can't believe she's gonna be five because I literally blinked and she was a baby last time I looked so but that's not the point of today um, if you guys have been following along with my little journey I posted my meal plan what was that Sunday night and I told you guys I let you in on a little um, secret that I'm going it's not a secret but I let you guys in on a little news that I'm going dairy free this week. I have been experiencing some issues. I I started noticing as soon as I would eat yogurt or cottage cheese or like pizza the other night. Um, and I decided that I'm just going to cut dairy this week and see how it affects my diet. So all day yesterday, I was 100% game on. I replaced a lot of the different things in my diet. I'm also cutting all sugars that don't come from fruit or just found in the food. So I did that yesterday too, and I feel already a lot better. So today is my day two, and I'm trying a Mexican recipe tonight that I saw online. Um, it was for chicken taquitos, and it called for cream cheese, and um, it called for like shredded cheese when you cook the chicken. So I had to figure out a way how to make this dairy-free because I saw it, I committed to it, and I really wanted to make it tonight. Um, I also am going to make it in the crock pot, so I'm making it a little bit differently because that's just what I do. So here's what I have going on. Instead of chicken taquitos, I'm having pork taquitos. If you guys remember on Sunday, I shared with you that we left our freezer door open overnight and we had two things of meat in there that defrosted and had to be cooked, right? So I cooked the pork or I cooked the roast on Sunday and it was amazing, but today I'm gonna cook and deal with this pork roast. So I have my crock pot going here, got my pork roast in there and this was a buy one get one free pork roast at giant eagle so regular place price was twelve dollars this is gonna cost me six and we're going to eat it tonight so pork roast in the crock pot a little bit of water and I'm using um, taco seasoning or Mexican seasoning that I made myself so these are ingredients that you already have in your house like onion powder garlic powder chili powder paprika um, what else is in here? I think cumin's in here and maybe a little bit of oregano. So some combination of that. If you want the recipe, always ask. I'm always happy to share. But I'm using my own seasoning because that way I can control what's in it. I know exactly how much sodium and everything else that's in there. I seasoned my pork roast to taste. Now for the interesting part. How am I going to make this creamy? The recipe that I found calls for cream cheese. I'm not even going to do that because I really want to see how I feel without eating dairy this week. So I don't even want to put any of it into my diet. So I'm using silken soft tofu. So I don't know if you guys can see that. If you've ever cooked with tofu before, you've noticed that it comes in a couple different varieties. You can get firm, extra firm, and you can get soft. So when I'm cooking with it for stir fries or I've even made tofu french fries, I um, get the extra firm kind because I, it holds up well when you're cooking it. For today's little experience, experiment, I am using the soft tofu. And it really does have a very soft consistency. So I think this is gonna work extremely well as my like creaminess and binding agent in this recipe. I'm gonna cook it slow in the crock pot and I just think that it's gonna melt and make this very creamy and it's gonna replace that cream cheese. The nice thing about tofu is that it really doesn't taste like anything. So it's going to absorb whatever seasoning you put on it and in this case it's going to be taco or Mexican seasoning so you don't have to worry about it's going to add some sort of weird taste it's not it's just going to taste like pork and taco seasoning or whatever you're mixing it with so don't even worry about that if you've never tried tofu before there's nothing that should hold you back from trying it it literally tastes like nothing so we also eat this with mixed berries or unsweetened coconut it just it's a good clean source of protein and in this case I'm hoping that it will be my creamy binding agent for these pork taquitos and that's it kids so that's gonna go in the crock pot and I'm gonna cook that on low all day because at four o'clock we are out of this house for like three and a half hours 
going to gymnastics, going to karate, and then coming home. So I need something that is ready to go when we hit the door um, because baby girl gets a little bit crazy at that bewitching hour when we start pushing closer to eight o'clock. Once I get home, I'm just gonna shred this sucker up and it's gonna be creamy and it's gonna have, you know, all the seasonings all blended together. And I'm going to then just portion out um, some scoops in, you, I'm gonna use my container, so I'll use my red container to get my full protein, and I'll add it into this um, multi-grain, you know, soft taco tortilla, roll it up, and then I'll bake it off in the toaster oven just for a few minutes. I'm going to top it, so it said top it with shredded cheese. I'm going to try this brand of dairy-free shredded cheese out. I mean, it looks like cheese. So I have recommended this to my customers like for years who have to be dairy free and um, I've I've read about this I've researched it I've heard so many recommendations from people that this Daya shredded cheese is actually very very good so this is coming from people who used to eat cheese and now can't for whatever reason so this is called cheddar style shreds it's dairy free lactose free gluten and soy free cholesterol free I will let you know um, it it looks like cheese it it feels like cheese. I haven't it opened up to smell it. I'm not sure, but I will find out later tonight and you guys will be the first to know. So that's what's cooking in the crock pot today. Nothing easier. It's going to be a good clean source of protein. This was a very cheap cost effective meal and it didn't take me long to put together. Literally roast in the crock pot, water, taco seasoning, open up this package, toss it in and cook on low all day. The rest of it will happen around 7:30 tonight and I'm thinking less than 10 minutes. So that's it. If you want to follow along, then check back later today and I will share with you my honest opinion of what dairy-free Mexican actually tastes like. Because like a lot of people, I genuinely do love cheese, but I need to see how my body does without it. I don't even know how I could have developed any sort of sensitivity to dairy, but it probably has to do with just my overall gut health and the extra sugar that I have been sneaking in lately with the Easter candy. So doing a little bit of a clean sweep and we're gonna see how that goes. If you have any questions, as always, just let me know, shoot me a message or comment below. And if this recipe is a winner, I will definitely share it with you guys. I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful day and we will see you soon.